2851, turn right, heading 183. Be sure to join the DJ's Aviation Discord server with over 2,000 members. Join with the link in the description below. However, is Airbus eyeing up a potential freighter conversion for its world's largest passenger plane, the A380, to give it a new lease of life, or an extension of its life? Or, on the other hand, is it beating away at a dead horse that simply won't make a difference? Today, I'll be taking a deep dive look at the Airbus A380 freighter, including the latest developments that have appeared. Talks of an A380 freighter though conversion, or even just an A380 cargo type, have dated decades back to the early 2000s when an A380 full freighter was a thing. In fact, it actually had firm orders from customers. The cargo variant was offered until 2005 and ordered by the likes of UPS and FedEx. But while production seemingly never hit the ground running, the A380F still appeared on the Airbus website for 8 years after until 2013. However, sadly, we never saw it properly fly. The Airbus A380F, though, was slated to have a 7% better payload than that of the 7478, its direct rival, I guess you could say. However, ultimately, production was suspended due to issues with the stock standard A380-800. Airbus essentially wanted to sort out the passenger aircraft, which was naturally going to provide them with the most benefit than focus on an A380 freighter. On top of that, there were other reasons for the cancellations that I have covered in a previous video. Since then though, the question has always remained over whether or not Airbus would launch their A380F to help compete with the 777F and even the 7478F, as currently the largest freighter that Airbus offers is the A330F, quite a small aircraft in comparison to these two. Thanks to an exclusive report from Freight Waves, which will be linked in the description, the sources area, we've learned that Airbus is currently eyeing up potential interest to convert its A380-800 into a combi or a semi-freighter plane, while also ensuring that passengers can fly on the aircraft. The idea consists of basically fitting out the lower deck for cargo only, which would make the most of the recent demand for shipping and more, while the top deck would remain for passengers. Naturally, this would significantly reduce that of the passenger count for the aircraft, but add cargo. And it can make sense to a certain extent, given the pandemic greatly reducing travel demand. It's a bit of an interesting one though overall, as it's not the first time we've seen such an idea come about. German maintenance specialist Lufthansa Technik last year announced that they were working on a conversion for the Airbus A380, which would mean that the aircraft could continue flying during the pandemic. Ultimately though, Lufthansa retired all their Airbus A380s, and this never has amounted to anything as of yet. But it did signal to us there was some potential interest, and that is what's being communicated to freight waves thanks to an emailed comment from an Airbus spokesman, noting if we see sufficient customer interest in an A380 converted freighter, we would investigate this possibility further, and that we are always looking into advancing our products, keeping them at the leading edge of technology. We are in constant dialogue with our customers about the latest state-of-the-art technologies and ongoing innovations. These comments to me don't scream that something is going to happen of sorts, as I'll discuss later in this video. Even for an Airbus A380 converted freighter, there needs to be a significant amount of orders for the type. When I say orders, I guess I mean in a sense converting the type orders, not necessarily a clean sheet. As we know, Airbus is no longer producing the Airbus A380. In my opinion, this proves rather tricky given the fact Air France, Lufthansa, Etihad Airways, potentially soon to be maybe Qatar Airways, and even Thai Airways, have either retired all of their Airbus A380s or are potentially looking at selling them off. This has all taken place just in the past 12 months since the emergence of the pandemic. In addition, Qantas is trying to understand when they can bring it back, and they're only left with a handful of operators, with Emirates, as we know, looking to keep it on for the next 15 years, and British Airways remaining pretty adamant that they also see the aircraft as part of their future plans, especially with travel demand recovering. It once again will simply come down to Emirates, who would need to show their support in such an idea from Airbus to actually move forward with this. If we take a look though at everything the executive Tim Clark has said to the likes of the air current, they love the A380 for what it is and what it was. This A380 conversion is to help deal with the problem of travel demand currently not returning, and making some use for the A380 in the future. However, biggest customer Emirates is pretty adamant and have been pretty adamant that they want all their aircraft back in the sky operating as soon as possible, 
and it seems hard to believe why they'd want to lose a bottom deck in favor of cargo when prior to the pandemic they were selling out their Airbus A380s on a consistent basis and it was performing incredibly well for them. To me personally, it just seems way too difficult to see them ever looking at taking this avenue. Let's take a look though at the A350 Freighter, something only recently covered here on the channel due to in mid-March a report coming from Reuters. This article noted that Airbus was currently eyeing up an A350 Freighter to battle with Boeing, which as we know has a large portion of the market share in the cargo sector of our industry at the moment. Airbus offers its A330F, but other than that, there's not too much else. While recently it has introduced the passenger to freighter A321, and so on, Boeing still does sweep the floor with the 777F, 7478F, the older 747F, the 757F, the 737F, the 737 passenger to freighter, and I think you get where I'm headed with this. The list just goes on and on. There's a lot more variety for cargo operators that are looking for aircraft if they were to go the Boeing route rather than with Airbus. So if Airbus were to offer a potential A350, it would certainly shake up the industry. But like always, Airbus needs to ensure that customers are interested. And similar to that of the A380F, the quoted number to get this off the ground always sits at around 50 to 70 firm orders before they move ahead with the conversion or introducing for the A350's case, the brand new type, which naturally is a sizable number, but potentially I'd argue it's more achievable with something like the twin-engined A350 over a massively out of favor quad jet that is already dying off when it comes to operators actually flying the type and moving forward, it could be even less if you get what I mean. What is the point though in a freighter conversion for the A380 you might be asking? Well, naturally I would argue that the biggest point is it extends the life of the aircraft by allowing it to fly as a converted freighter. This isn't entirely out of the ordinary as in the past we've seen aircraft manufacturers create these conversions to purely extend life. Doing this for the Airbus A380 would allow them to potentially get greater investment returns moving forward with select carriers that would naturally go for this option. Combis as they can be known though are not totally popular and do not always work. It means that there's essentially now a demand for two main markets on the one aircraft and usually the focus is on only one of these two things whether it be strictly passengers with just a little bit of cargo in the hold or a completely cargo aircraft. You're essentially doubling the work to make sure that the passengers and cargo is balanced and that you can fill both. It would therefore require time and effort to organize and naturally costs and at this point, the question remains, is it actually really worth it at the end of the day? And I think that's personally a great way to conclude and a finishing question to put to you, my audience and viewers in this in-depth analysis video. Is the conversion really worth it at the end of all of it? Or is it simply too complicated and something like the Airbus A350 freighter, which would not be a conversion, it would simply be a strictly cargo plane. Is that a better option? Let me know down below in the comment section below. And like always, thank you so much for your continued support. If you haven't listened to the first episode of the podcast, you can do so on Spotify or your local podcasting platform. And feel free to join the Discord below. Until the next video, please take care and be safe. And I will see you next time.